when you are recording there's a countdown one two three okay it's a three seconds countdown before the recording start and there is also a floating button here uh, so you can uh, start a recording in any app or when you are using any application or cell phone that you want to record so there's an easy access using this floating button and there's also an option here so normally normally I just uh, choose this mute audio source because uh, I don't want to record any audio and there's also an internal audio uh, it is for now it is uh, automatically disabled because I'm recording so I'm currently recording and I choose already the microphone record uh, recording voice of course and then so let's see what we've got here for our X recorder application so we have a resolution you can only modify so what the message says you can only modify when you're not recording what ah okay 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 so I can I can show you the resolution that we've got because it says that I only modify it when I'm not recording but I'm recording this right now okay so there is a quality uh, what it says a uh, quality level that I am I'm just using so it says that higher quality means larger size so if you want to save more spaces on your cell phone just choose a smaller size and there's also a FPS higher FPS means a smaller a video but use more CPU okay so for quality video more sizes for the high FPS for smoother uh, if you if you want your video smoothly uh, playing uh, I don't know how to explain it but it says uh, smooth oh, smooth video so it means so uh, yeah I know no, I understand it so it will play smoothly I think it is it is uh, okay and it will use a more CPU okay for orientation so we have here uh, we have here a landscape or portrait and it also an auto option so I just uh, set it into an automatic option okay for them to record all you so we go to the save location so if you are confused where did, uh, where did your um, uh, files or the recording files where did it go so where did uh, where it save after your recording and you didn't know uh, where to locate it you can save I uh, no, you can check it out to the same location so technically it shows uh, the directory so it says uh, my files automatically save and the storage after storage there is a emulated folder and then slash so there is a zero folder name slash dcim folder slash screen records folder then, yes i find my so uh, you can go check it out and find your recording files okay the next is the repair system ui crash user interface but so open the permission to repair a system ui crash okay avoid abnormal stop turn off the system battery optimization for x recorder to straighten stability so you can turn it and turn it on and off uh, manually okay so recording mode uh, let me check it out if i can show you okay there it is so there is a an option to option so we have a normal mode and a performance mode so it says that normal mode is unlimited functions so suitable for can require without frequent operations and changes on screen for the performance mode unlimited functions but more stable prevent crash and lag during recording okay i sometimes uh i i always choose the normal mode and i experience already that after recording or screen recording 
uh, then I stop my recording and unfortunately it's not saving my recording okay so that that happened to me sometimes so maybe if I choose a performance mode it will not happen so maybe when I when I saving the time that I am saving the application is just crash I think so okay so let's go or let's move on to the tools so uh, we've got a screenshot so the screenshots get only I uh, no wait uh, we're just uh, missing out that error. so we have a countdown before start so that what just I said uh, in my uh, recording that it just start with a countdown in three seconds because I just set it I just set it into a three seconds so if you don't want a countdown you can choose to turn it off or you can choose either other countdown you can choose five seconds then seconds but so uh that's all the option of course okay so there's a pop-up window after tracking screenshots oh okay i just check it on it is very uh, usable uh, control settings so there is also an option that you can hide or record a window during recording but in my option okay I'm choose it not to hide of course so this oh, uh, because this floating uh, button it's oh, floating window either floating button whatsoever it is easy to access when I want to pause here stop or edit my video and go to settings so it's so easy and then there's also an option here it says that shake you shake phone to stop recording so i don't want to uh, check it because sometimes uh, when i'm recording i just uh accidentally move my phone so maybe the sensor says it's shaking then it will stop and I don't want to stop it because I'm not yet done in recording. Next, we have here a, a bulb icon, and it says "Keep recording when screen is off." And I don't want to check it because sometimes I leave my floating window here, this floating button here, and sometimes I just accidentally click the start button and it is recording but because of my settings that after um i think of one minute i set it one minute uh when i'm not doing anything on my phone it will sleep so the this keep recording when screen is off if it's not checked then it will turn it off also the recording and it will not drain my battery my sizes of my phone and so ever okay so we have here the tools we have four tools for x recording app but uh, we have screenshot camera brush show touch okay the screenshots is screenshot sorry the screenshot of course will um the screenshots your recording camera brushes uh, if you want to paint brushes show touch okay well let me check the show touch so there's can you find the developer options in your settings oh okay so you can check it out no i can't so there's a q and a i think so you need to enable the developer mode and the developer options um <coughs> excuse me okay the developer options will appear in your settings page click the build number or version number button five times and you will be informed that you are in developer mode okay there's some instructions here there's also a demonstration and how to do it but there's also uh, um instructions in settings of course so in general the method to enable the developer option is as follows so, okay you need to click the settings about phone 
the bill number okay the entrance name varies according to the branches system here are some examples oh i just i just uh, found it now there's an options in different brands of your cell phones how nice it is so there's how you can go to the settings and find the build number here or change what it is to go to a cell developer options and now what we got for yes i can okay let's uh minimize this <clears throat> okay if you can find the developer option your additional settings in your settings page just find and turn on the show touch option mm, so this option will show touch option because i didn't do it i didn't turn it on that's why when i I am using this X recording and it didn't show where did I touch what option did I go okay and then for others we have create shortcuts so create shortcuts for some functions that you can use them then sorry you can use them more conveniently so there's a shortcut for your edit video edit photo if you if you can't create a shortcut you may have to allow the perm uh, the permission first so i don't want to do it because i didn't um uh, i didn't even i didn't edit my video or photo while using this extra recorder i just use it um no it edit okay the language so there is an also the automatic language that it choose is english and i will not and I'm, I, let me check first but if there's a filipino language here okay there is not so i'm using english okay how how, how will it back Okay, just <laughs> I don't know how to uh, get back to the um, X recording settings. I just click the set. I just choose. I'm sorry. I just choose a settings. So just it will go back here and the others. There's also a fact. Okay, so it is very useful, guys. You can check it out. What are normally asked questions about this application? so first we're going to check the why does x recorder crash when recording so i need it because sometimes it's just crash so maybe there is no enough ram for recording oh so maybe hmm so maybe i can avoid it when i'm not using the other application please close close sorry so please close unrelated application apps or clear the ram to ensure a normal recording so we have also the performance mode is more stable to own as what just i said uh, earlier uh, maybe i will choose the option for performance mode not a normal mode it's more stable uh, to record games and other apps you can choose this mode in settings decreasing the resolution fps image quality and other parameters of the record of the recorded video can reduce the occurrence of this problem so maybe i will go to choose a more a less <clears throat> quality so it's set as 720 or I will choose one less of that okay let's go to the second uh, question so, why is there why is there no sound in my video so maybe 
make sure you have opened the record audio option in settings android does not allow other apps to record the internal audio but you can record it with the microphone if there is another app using microphone the audio recording may be unable so uh, it happened to me sometimes because i want to record an audio when i when i'm oh during a video call please. so it says that the messenger already using microphone so this uh, x recorder uh, can use it so when i'm recording there is no audio okay so maybe they can enhance it and find another way i don't know